All right, so let's trade the Betfair pre-race horse markets. Um, I make these videos here to illustrate one key point. Um, if you want to be a successful trader, you have to learn the basics. You have to understand why you're making mistakes. You have to understand why the markets are moving against you. And uh, you have to start with small stakes uh, because if you cannot trade profitably with two pound stakes or 10 pound stakes, you will never be able to, do, to, to trade with 50 pound stakes or 100 pound stakes. So if you're a beginner, you have to start small and you have to understand how and why the market moves, all right? So I trade live, so I do hum and haw and I do miss certain opportunities because trading live and recording and talking to you is difficult, okay? But I, I do my best to, to try and illustrate to you why the market moves and how it moves, okay? So we'll jump in now and do some trading. Okay, so we're at Newcastle. Only two, uh, three minutes to go here. I want to quickly trade with 50 pound stakes just for a change. And we'll see what we can do here. You can see this short price favorite has stopped around this point here. Uh, it does it does kind of look like it might start to drift out. Because um, it has taken some lay money right here. Uh, but obviously, you know, I have to wait and see. Uh, it's quite a large field. Favorite does seem to be fairly strong. Um, So I might just jump in on the back side here of the favorite uh, just to see if I can scalp out a tick or two. Because uh, with these kind of races, when it's a short, a short price favor like this, you know, let's face it, the, the chances of it coming in are <laughs> far greater because um, you know people are supporting uh, these types of horses. So let's move this down here. Uh, but obviously, as I say, that started to start to drift, which is quite annoying. But there we go. So we'll see if that gets taken there as well. Perfect, excellent. Uh, although you can see the fourth favorite here and the third favorite is also crashing in. So, could be worth laying the favorite on a speculative basis here. Because there does seem to be support for this third one here. Um, but, you know, with only a minute on the clock, it's not really much I want to do here. See here, this third fear has gone all the way out and all the way back, back out again, <laughs> all the way in, all the way back out again. So it, c it could be worth a 50 pound stake right here, 10 5, to see if it comes crashing back down again, but um, it's not really, I don't know, we'll see. So you can see the favorite is now drifting out quite consi considerably. Uh, so I will jump on the backside here for hundred pounds, just to try and scalp out the gold one ticks as it retracts a little bit. Hopefully that happens now. Uh, you can see the second figure here is also coming in. So you can see both my stakes were taken there. That's excellent. Um, so it was quite quite a volatile market here. It's going. It's, this favorite is drifting out quite heavily here. Um, so you can see, so you can see, it, it is quite volatile. There's a lot of money flying around, and you know, with the horses loading up now, I'm not gonna uh, re-enter here. I'm quite happy to just leave this. Um, I'll just cash it out for a three pound sixty stake. Same as always, guys. You know, use small stakes, use logic, use you know, just follow the market, follow where the money goes, and just nip in and out where you can. And once you learn how to trade, and you slowly increase increase your stakes, and you move forward, and you can learn more and more every day.